So you want to make your first game? Great! But Unity, Godot, Unreal, Game Maker, Construct, even engines you've never heard of. Which one should you actually start with? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through some engines, break down their strengths and quirks, and help you figure out which one's right for you. Hi everyone, Lou here, and welcome to another video. So you're thinking about making games. That's awesome. But before you dive in, there's one big question. Which engine should you use? There are a lot of options out there. And honestly, it can feel overwhelming when you're just starting out. When you're choosing your first engine, there are really three things to keep in mind. How easy it is to learn. What kind of games you want to make. 2D, 3D or both. How far that engine can take you once you've leveled up a bit. With that in mind, let's go through the options. Probably the most popular engine right now. Beginners use it, indie devs use it, even some big studios use it. You can build both 2D and 3D games and there are tons of tutorials out there. Unity uses C Sharp, so yes, you'll be writing some code. But don't panic, learning a little coding here is actually a huge win for your future as a developer. Downsides? It's gotten more complex over the years and their licensing rules sometimes change, which can be frustrating. But overall, Unity is flexible, powerful and a safe choice. If you like open source tools or just want something clean and beginner friendly, Godot is fantastic. It's completely free, super lightweight, and its scripting language GDScript feels a lot like Python. That makes it easy to learn. Godot shines at 2D, but it can do 3D too. It's just not as polished as Unity or Unreal yet. Still, it's improving fast and a lot of new devs are falling in love with it. If you've seen those jaw-dropping AAA graphics, that's unreal. It comes with Blueprints, a visual scripting system that helps you build stuff without diving straight into code. But be warned, Unreal is big, complex and built for large, cinematic projects. If your dream is small, quirky 2D platformers, this probably isn't your first stop. If you want high-end 3D worlds though, Unreal is amazing. If your heart set on 2D games, these do make things really easy. Game Maker gives you drag and drop tools plus simple scripting if you want it. Construct goes even further with almost no coding at all. They are perfect for jumping in and making fun 2D projects quickly. The trade-off? If you ever want to build bigger 3D games later, you'll likely outgrow them. Engines like Default or BuildBox also exist. Default is lightweight and great for mobile or web 2D. BuildBox is fully no-code and awesome for quick prototypes. But you might hit their limit if you stick with game dev long term. So, which one should you pick? Honestly, don't stress too much about it. If you want to learn coding and have flexibility for both 2D and 3D, Unity or Godot are great. If you just want a simple way to make fun 2D games, Game Maker or Construct are perfect. If your dream is cinematic 3D worlds, Unreal's the way to go. But here's the most important thing. You don't have to choose the perfect one right now. Just pick something, make a small game and finish it. You'll learn way more from completing a tiny project than from comparing engines forever or reading documents. So go ahead, pick one and let me know in the comments which one you picked. Thank you so so much for watching. Please subscribe for more. I'm Lou and until next one, bye!